Tony La Russa, yes. he's been gone for medical reasons. And, you know, naturally this is a hot topic because the White Sox have been so good with him gone. Boy, the athletics, Ken Rosenthal today wrote an article basically saying it's time to yeah. hang it up, Tony, and let Miguel Cairo keep running the show. My gosh, take some guts to write that. But La Russa is a Hall of Famer, Ryan. I don't know. This is... This, is a, this has got to be very difficult for him to go through here and realize that I may be done. Yeah, I, you know, I think it's, it's – and you got to – obviously with anything on this conversation, you have to start it the same way Ken did, which you're glad Tony's healthy, right? You're glad it, that he's back into the conversation where he possibly could come back uh, to the to the bench and, and get into the dugout and manage the, the White Sox. But, you know, it doesn't feel like a coincidence that the White Sox are playing the way they are right now, that they've gotten back into this mix. This season has been a series of essentially many disasters, one after the other. And there have been, obviously, injury issues. There's no doubt about that. Injury issues that are not Tony Russo's fault. But we, you look across that roster, and aside from Dylan Cease, there is not a single player who's playing up to their – absolute potential you know you just haven't seen that that kind of production and now all of a sudden larus is out of the mix you have a different voice you have a different type of leader in miguel cairo and you're seeing you know 10 and 4 in the first 14 games when larusa isn't there it feels like a different clubhouse quite honestly this feels like the white Sox team that everyone expected to see at the beginning of the season, because the talent on that roster is absolutely undeniable. And the fact that, you know, they're sitting here in September behind a Cleveland team that is on pace for 86 wins. It's not like Cleveland's running away with this division with 95 wins. You know, it's still very much within the realm of possibility that the White Sox could catch them, even though Cleveland's playing well. And if they have that roster and get into the postseason, you know, it could be a pretty interesting thing. 